Hey everybody, it's Corey Ballot. I'm back again with another video. This one's gonna be a review. I'm getting adjusted to this light. I'm using my new tripod and it has a, a ring light on it. It's getting kind of dark. It's early, it's fall now, so it's getting dark at about almost six, just about. So I'm trying to figure out this whole lighting situation. It's not bad, but I don't know. I guess it'll do for now. So this video is going to be a review of the YouTube video or reaction or review, whatever, to the video, the YouTube video on Let's Get to the Root. That's the name of the channel. I've done two other videos about some videos on that channel. And they do documentary videos where they talk about um, old, not old, but let me not say old. Um, they talk about music artists that were popular some time ago or actors or something like that. So this one is, let's get to the root, what happened to Jason Weaver. Jason Weaver, he is the star of Smart Guy and also he's the voice of Simba on The Lion King, the original animated move, motion picture film, The Lion King. He is the singing voice of Simba and he's an actor and a singer and a performer, an artist. So it the show just talks about his life and his career and what he's doing now. So that's how that goes. Oh, it's shaking, it's shaking. No, sorry about that. All right, I'm working it out. Let's get to the root of it, what happened to Jason Weaver. So Jason Weaver, it says he was born in Chicago, in the Chicago area. He grew up there. His mother was a singer. She was a member of the group Kitty and the Haywoods. She also, um, her with her and her sisters, I guess his aunties, they wrote jingles and sang jingles in the area as well as did work with artists such as Aretha Franklin and Curtis Mayfield, they said. So he got into acting at a young age. He was doing commercials at the age of five. Then he went on to star in Brewster Place with Oprah um, at a young age. That landed him an audition at um, for the part. Sorry, for the part of Michael Jackson in the miniseries *The Jacksons: An American Dream*. It says Michael Jackson handpicked him to play him, and he um, was him as as a, a young child. He sang all the parts on there. And that's how he started. That's his really big break. And while he was on the set of that, this is where he got his um, his most noteworthy role as Simba on The Lion King, of course, which is one of the greatest um, box office successes ever. It's m like my favorite movie ever. And um, so he was playing Michael Jackson on that miniseries. Elton John came to the set one day to you know check it out and support Michael Jackson and the Jackson family of course you know they've been in the industry for years now and they're legends by this point and Michael Jackson is the king of pop so yes Elton John came to the set he saw he witnessed Jason Weaver singing live on the the movie set and he asked him and his mother did he want to come and audition Cause for the Lion King, you know, Elton John wrote and he did uh, the soundtrack to that one. So they went down and he auditioned and got the part. He sang there. So he became the singing voice of Simba. And he got a very lucrative royalty deal from his mother being a shrewd businesswoman. And they were going to offer him a large lump sum to play the role of Simba. They declined it for a smaller amount and back in royalties. And so it uh, it paid off and he was able to get money for that from the rest of his life. And Lion King being a huge success and one of the greatest selling movies ever. And yeah, so while he was doing that, he also started acting in other things. He was on the TV show Thea with Brandy. And he also released an album in in 1995 
and then he released another musical project EP or whatever and then that didn't work out he wasn't liking what was happening at the record label they were kind of controlling him they were you know doing all this development this marketing scheme or whatever how they do with the music artists so he wasn't really into that so he asked to be released out of his contract and he continued to act he started um being in movies he was on the smart he was on smart guy the television show and then he played in other movies black classic movies like atl and drumline and he just continued to act and do different things and live off the royalties of his lion king movie and stuff like that so now he has a podcast a sports podcast and he still acting he's on the shy or was on the shy i don't know i don't watch the shy personally but this video was a couple of months ago, so he's saying he's on the shy, and the shy is still on. So, so he's still out there doing it. Um, I would like for him to make more music because um, he's a great singer, and I actually got a chance to listen to that album that he made, his only album, and it's a very good album. So it's a shame that we didn't get to see some other musical projects. Maybe some will be in the works. I hope so. I always like to see a singer sing. So no matter what, um, they said that was his first love. That's what he started at doing. His parent, his mother was a singer. His aunts were singers. So it's a gift. So he can use it anytime. So maybe he'll use, maybe he'll use it soon. Uh, yeah, that's the end of this one. Let's get to the root of it. What happened to Jason Weaver? I'm Corey Ballard. Subscribe to my channel. Watch my old videos. Check out for my new videos. Uh, listen to my radio show on Spotify, Corey's World of Music. And I'll see you next time. I got to get used to this light here. It's not that bad. I like it a lot. I like it. It's kind of cool. All right. I'm going to get off of here. Uh, I was about to. Okay. Never mind. Dude. Dude. Do 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 do. It better end.